band began as a solo project, but evolved into a Grammy-nominated success. Meet me on the equinox, meet me halfway. Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking to Death Cab for Cutie. So could you please introduce yourselves and tell me what you do in the band and as well give us a fun fact about yourself? Yes, I am Jason McGurr and I play drums in Death Cab and a fun fact. I played in a band with Nick before Death Cab and actually fired him as a bass player. <laughs> uh, my name is Chris and I play guitar in Death Cab for Cutie and that band that Nick and Jason were in uh, that Jason fired Nick from I actually recorded that band at one point or another. Well, let's talk a bit about the musical evolution of Death Cab over the years. Um, how do you see you guys have progressed? I don't know. I mean, in a lot of ways, it's sort of hard to quantify because we're essentially still a band that's sort of based in drums and bass guitar and two guitars and sometimes some keyboards and then singing. So, like, the elements of it are identical. How that manifests itself from record to record is really different. And the core ingredients are still the same, but the records have clearly changed. I don't know. I feel like the way we've changed is maybe in a, in a maturity way, like in terms of not being afraid to play a lot less. There was a time maybe when we were a little more organized and scheduled and tried to make things fit the way that they were supposed to fit, and especially with Codes and Keys, the newest record, I mean, there was a lot more like just trust in terms of letting things, letting things cook and develop and knowing that we would eventually wind up with the record that we really wanted to make. And I think that two or three records before that, that that wouldn't have been a, any possible way to record a record for us. We had to know what was going to happen a little bit more. Let's talk a bit about Codes and Keys. What's the musical direction behind this record? Coming from Narrow Stairs, the last record, where we basically just, we did a lot of just recording very much as we play live, like two guitars, bass, and drums. And we knew that we didn't want to do that again. And I think that just changing one element in the process, like putting guitars late in the process rather than sort of as the foundation of what we were building, led us to a lot of different places and a lot of different instruments and a lot of different, like, you know, ways to try and build something that you know, is still identifiable as us, but isn't necessarily rooted in strumming through, you know, just crashing through the songs like we do on stage. And so I'd like to know, what do you guys love most about music and how do you keep your passion alive for it? Some people go to work and they want to punch the clock and leave and not have to deal with work, but I have a really hard time ever putting work down keeps me up many hours of the night and that's you know why I'm passionate about it I guess I just fortunately landed on something that you know you can always evolve doing. It's always morphing and changing like your relationship with music and how how and why you react to it and how and why you need it over the course of a day and you know I love that and that just it, it's not even really something that I have to work at it's just there and that's a uh, you know, it's there just as just as the air that I breathe. And that's, you know, that's great. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. <laughs>